So in our last session, we learned how TLS encryption is established between client and server in Windows. Now, let's learn the ways to create this TLS encrypted connection to SQL Server. TLS encryption is supported in SQL Server. You should just enforce encryption. TLS can be enforced either from client side, SQL Server side, or both. For example, by using JDBC ODBC connection packages, you can just specify encrypt to true in the connection string. If you go to the package parameter documentation, you can find about this parameter. At the same time, SQL Server can also enforce connection. You can just go to the configuration manager and select enforce encrypt to true. After setting this uh, property and restarting SQL Server, all the clients are enforced to encrypt connection. It does not matter whether they are set to encrypt true in the connection string or not. Anyway, encryption is enforced and connections are encrypted. We can summarize encryption ways in this way. If client only enforced, the encryption is made only for this client connection. If server side enforced, encryption is made for all the clients. If both sides are enforced, encryption is for all the clients and also for this uh, client. Finally, if neither side enforces, connection is not enforced. Let me show you this with real examples. I have this client and server machines. Let's check whether SQL Server is enforcing encryption. As you can see, we are not enforcing encryption, right? So, it depends on client to make encrypted connection or not now. In the client side, simp simply I use SSMS and will try to make encrypted connection. To enable encryption, I go to options and choose encrypt connection property. I'm also setting trust server certificate to true, as you can see. I will explain about this property in the next session. Now let's connect. After connection, let's check whether our connection is encrypted by running this query. You can see here that our connection is encrypted, right? Nice. Now let's go to server and enforce encryption from server side also. After changing this property, you should restart server, okay? Do not forget this. Then we will go back to client. I tried to connect to server uh, this time without enabling encryption from client side. Let's check. As you can see, since server side is enforcing encryption, our connection is encrypted anyway. It does not matter whether the client is enforcing or not because server side is enforcing encryption for all the clients. Therefore, our connection now is encrypted. Now let's enforce encryption from both client and server side. As you can see, our connection is encrypted this time also. Now we will go to server side and disable encryption and restart. We also disable encryption from client side and connect again. As you can see, after disabling encryption from both client and server side, our connection is not encrypted anymore, which is dangerous, right? So now we know the ways to encrypt the connection. Now let's talk about SSL certificates. We understand the SQL Server should have SSL certificate for this TLS encryption, right? Let's learn what kind of certificate you can attach to SQL Server in the next session.